Hello and welcome. I'm Will Marsh. I'm excited to be presenting our sitar lesson series in Rag Yaman. And here we are at lesson number one, where I'm going to start with a little bit of groundwork, some theory, and then we'll go ahead and, and uh, get Rag Yaman in our practice on sitar. Today I am in the key of D for our class. And you've probably noticed that Rag Yaman is often one of the first rags a student learns deeply. And a part of this is because the rag is very expansive. Uh, it has a lot of uh, directions that you can go. It's also very balanced and symmetrical. So what that means is it's an excellent rag to practice and go deep into with all of the scales, the compositions, and the foundational pieces of rag music. Now, Every rag comes from what is called a tot, and there are ten different tots. Rag Yaman comes from the Kalyan tot, and the Kalyan tot features all the natural notes, except we have the sharped fourth, which we call Tivra Ma, this note. So just in case you do not know already, I'll play the Kalyan tot for you, the notes of this tot. So So this is the scale in which Rag Yaman comes from. Now Rag Yaman has its own unique uh, flavor that we're going to uncover today and begin practicing. So the first thing we'll do is the ascending pattern for Rag Yaman and the descending pattern. Now on the sitar we're going to start on Ni. This is our first note of the ascending pattern. We have Ni, Le, Ga, Ma, Tha, Ni, Sa. Notice how I'm ending with my second finger. Again, the ascending pattern. Ni, Now let's go to the descending pattern. We're starting on this high saw with our second finger. This ascending arohi and descending avarohi is the first thing I want you to spend time practicing in Rag Yaman. I'll play it again for you. This is the first thing that we can use to uncover and understand a rag and how it moves. And the way that you can practice this is your right hand can be playing da ra da ra alternating and we'll make it into an exercise so let me play it for you in rhythm one two three four Ni, de, ga, ma, ta, ni, sa. Check. Sa, starting point for your practice in Rag Yaman, getting this Arohi and Avarohi into your hand. Now I want to give you one more exercise. Uh, we're going to cover some more of the full range of the sitar here. And to do this, we're starting on the low Tivra Ma 
all the way down here, this is the first fret on the first string. And as you notice by the ascending pattern in Ragyaman, we skip sa and pa as we're going up. So we'll do that same thing starting on this note. And we'll go all the way up to ga. Uh, some sitars, you, you may have another fret up here, some not. So we'll end here on ga. Remember, always ending with the second finger. So let me show you this pattern again, starting on ma. And then to come down, Way down, we play all the notes. This pattern again. Again, the two patterns I'd like for you to practice are the basic ascending and descending from Ni. And then the pattern starting on low Ma. This is a great place to begin by getting the rag familiar, the notes, and getting them into your hand. So as we move on, we'll get into some more complicated patterns, and we'll work our way to the other techniques and the compositions in rag Yemen for you to be able to uh, confidently and comfortably play this, this beautiful rag on sitar. Thanks for joining me today. Please take a moment to like and subscribe so that you'll be notified of next week's Rag Yaman lesson. And I encourage you to share any comments or feedback with me. I'm committed to being a dedicated teacher for you and, and knowing how this is working, what I can do to improve these lessons. Lastly, uh, I'm, I'm excited to be providing this whole lesson series that will really guide you to having a good practice of Rag Yaman on the sitar. And also, I offer private lessons if that's something that would uh, further add value to your learning process or if that's a, a better way that you work or if you had a very specific question um, with this material, you can visit my website to look at booking a private lesson virtually with me. So thanks again. I'll see you on the next lesson.